Hello, and welcome to tonight's presentation. Before getting directly to the message contained of a very strange nature and of an occult, not to say Satanist, nature in Stairway to Heaven, I'd like to introduce the general subject of how the theme of damnation and Satanism crept into rock music. And in fact, to understand this, you have to go back to the days where the slaves were playing blues in the little time they had, and they had these unimaginably terrible existences. And so naturally in their music, they lamented over their terrible condition, and they said, my God, why am I forsaken? Why have you abandoned me? I am damned. So that was one source. And the other source was the white people back then, who were, I mean, racist if nothing else, um, said there's something strange structurally about blues music to take major chords and to play minor uh, scales against it. There's something weird and they call it the devil's music. So that was the origin of it. Then groups like the Stones came along and they had songs like um, Sympathy for the Devil or uh, their Satanic Majesty's Request. And it's a question of debate whether or not the, the Stones were doing this just for commercial reasons. If you look at bands like ACDC and a lot of other bands like Kiss and everything that are so overtly talking about Satanism, uh, in the case of ACDC, Hell's Bells, Highway to Hell and all, it's difficult to take them very seriously because it's so sort of silly and in your face that it seems really more like a gimmick than anything else. But then other groups, like the Eagles, on which I did a presentation, wrote the song Hotel California. And in Hotel California, they embed a lyric. Now here's what's interesting, is that you could have listened to that song hundreds or maybe even thousands of times because it's played about once every 27 minutes on a radio in the United States without realizing what it's about. And then if you have a close look at it, and I invite you to consult my other video on Hotel California, if you don't know, you'll find that there's a very sinister message about Satanism inside that song. So, that's a little bit the background, and maybe just one further comment before getting to Stairway to Heaven, and that is when Jimi Hendrix was interviewed after Woodstock about the incredible volume and the distortion that he was using on the guitar, they said to him, Jimmy, why this wall of sound and why this incredible volume? And he said, at this volume, I'm preaching directly into the unconscious minds of the American youth. And the parents were freaked out enough with all the psychedelic and the drugs and his music and his look and everything, and the girls going crazy for him, but this freaked them out even more. Was it possible that you could preach directly to the subconscious of the youth without them realizing what they were hearing? Well, that's a question of debates. Uh, there was a study done at Princeton University that suggests that you can bypass the filter of the conscience and people can realize when you put backwards messages in songs, and this is called backwards masking, and I should point out that the Beatles started this on Revolver and followed up on the White Album, probably as a publicity gimmick, because their fans would come through their records looking for uh, confirmation of the rumor that Paul McCartney was dead, which the Beatles just made up, most probably, for commercial reasons. And they started putting these backwards messages in, because they were very innovative with technology and their ideas. So, the thing is, when the two things collided, backwards messages and themes of Satanism, more serious and sinister um, subjects of Satanism, such as Led Zeppelin was experimenting and putting in their music, 